the awesome, fantastic tools that SmartBoard has is the ability to randomly pick groups and names. So I thought I'd share that with you today. First thing you want to do is once you're in your Smart Notebook, you click on the activity section, come up, come up here to the search and just type in random and let it search for the word random. It gives you a whole bunch of different things that you can use that are random, but the one I really like is this random group picker. So I'm going to drag this onto the screen. Once I've got that here, I'm going to go ahead and add names from students of my class. Once so I've got their names in here, of course your classes are probably a little bit bigger than this, but you just decide how many groups you want. So let's say I want uh, two groups. I click generate. I'll come in here and randomly split them up. I can um, regroup and just keep letting if uh, there's a couple of kids I don't want to be in the same group. I go ahead and just hit regroup until I find one that I like, but I usually just leave it on the first try. Let's just do a real quick a group of four, hit generate, and it'll create these groups for you. Then what I do is I click on this uh, inject the groups, and the reason I inject the groups is that it will keep track of what the groups are because it's so many times that kids are like, what group am I in again? So anyways, that's the uh, random group picker. The other one that I really like is the random name generator. So again, I type random. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to select the random word chooser. This is great for just having a random vocab word to pop up. I've used that in Spanish before. But uh, I use this all the time to pick on students. So again, I'm just going to come in here and type their names in. And take this down to however many students I have in my class. In this case I've got 16 of them. And then you have a choice of saying no repeat or repeat, but I have found that I do much better with classroom discipline if I have no repeat well, unchecked because that way a kid who's already answered a question has an equal chance of being asked again. So you just come down here and hit select. And it bounces through, makes some noise, um, and I say William. Okay, and I just hit it again. And the next question goes to Donna. And so doing this has really allowed me to be completely random. Kids kind of enjoy it. They kind of want to see if they ever get called and how many times they get called. And, and I've had a lot of success using this.